Sapplicar at the Church of the Holy Sapplicar. I, you know that I came especially for uh, to light a candle for you. But guess who I found? Um, James. Can you say something for Easter and uh, and for Betty as well? Betty and EJ, her husband. Well, happy Easter, happy Easter blessing. You know, a mystery of Easter is that uh, it's the darkest time. Yes. Holy Week, and it, with Jesus, it was amazingly. And we as well go through a little bit, all of us, that darkness and misunderstanding and the lack of forgiveness. And so we need to learn from that about that, that forgiveness and that hope and a peace in spite of the situation we go through. Because God will bless us even abundantly, more than we can imagine. And that's what Easter is about. And that is as well a message for you. Thank you very much, sure, sure. Brother St. James. <laughs> Jacob, I know that he, he doesn't like it. But, but when I, you know that when I see James, I know that the God is with us. And the energy is so strong around him. Then uh, what can I say? Can you say it's just, I mean, what you say now, it's for everyone, which is amazing. Can I mention Betty? Yeah, sure. You know, Betty, that was my mother. Yes, I know. And, uh, and I understand there, there's problems. You know, I had problems uh, w with my mother, amazing problems. And uh, learning that forgiveness, even if at this time or during this phase, there's a no lack of forgiveness, but on your part, be understanding and, and hopeful and, and keep on trying and above all, pray. Uh, thank you very much. You, you make me cry. Can I hug you? Sure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Uh, thank you very much. We give thanks again. Ah, and we're gonna see each other soon, as I believe. God then, you. happy Easter. You too. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to everyone who are watching that yeah. video, and uh, Brother Saint James, <laughs> love you. You know that I love you. I see you as my brother. Thank you very much for being with me. <laughs> then Betty, I mean, this is the best present. It's better than any candle lighting for you. You know that I love you and EJ. And um, let me enter uh, the church to light a candle for you because uh, you deserve it. And as you know, the candle that I, I will light a candle for you as well. For you, it's for the one who actually watching that video. Uh, if you want me to light a candle for you and you want me uh, to uh, upload a video to YouTube with that, then the only thing that you have to do is to go into buy me a coffee link, which is at the description, the text. If you won't find it, you can ask me, send me a message and you will see how to do that. Then let's go into the church to light a candle for her. You can hear the bells. And um, Betty, I'm going to light a candle for you uh, of your mother. Uh, sadly, you know that when you pronounce it, it sounds different than what I will pronounce it. The two a part of the names I remember, Maria Luisa, but the rest you have to complete because I don't know how to do that. And for your disease, uh, for late uh, uh, father G. Day Glover, uh, my dear Glover family. Uh, then, while you can, uh, while you're hearing the, um, the church bells, I'm going to enter to buy the candles and to light it for you. But as you remember the rest, uh, I'm going to light a candle for you too, if you're watching that video. Let's enter the church. I'm going to climb up to the Golgotha. But for the people who ask me about what's happened to the anointing table, then they brought it back after they renovated the floor. Actually, they excavate. And if you watch my video, one of the, um, the videos is about what's happening there. Um, but first, I'm going to climb up to the, to the um, Golgotha. And don't go away. And after the, uh, the, uh, the candle lighting, I'm going to climb up to the roof to show you where St. James is actually living, where is his bedroom. 
then don't go away. Stay with me for the next 20 minutes. This is where Jesus was crucified. Let me first buy the candles. And this is the Catholic part of the church. That's where they nail Jesus into the cross. One for Betty's mother, one for Betty's father, one for Betty and EJ, and one for everyone who are watching that video. And please, if it's your first video, please subscribe to my channel. I have no tourists now because of the war. You are my tourists, you are my family. That is where Mary heard that her son will die in front of her eyes. Look at the spear in her heart. This is the Pietà. And here you can see the bedrock of the Golgotha and the crucifixion place. To the right, John. To the left, his mother. Above Jesus is sinless. Jesus from Nazareth, king of the Jews. And I want to bless the candles um, at the crucifixion spot itself. That part is his Greek Orthodox part. And in Khnaslishnia. Here it is. I'm blessing it for you. Put in my hand in the bedrock and blessing the candles. To the anointing table. Remember, we couldn't, uh, we could, I couldn't bless things there because it, they, they are now renovating the floor of the church. But they brought it back for Easter. That's where they anointed the body of Jesus, and you can see the oil on it. Let me. Bless it here as well. Oh, the smell is amazing. It's like perfume. We were at the crucifixion place. This is where they anointed the body of Jesus. And we actually bless us up there and we are going out to see the tomb which doesn't look like the tomb like that because it's been destroyed so many times mm -hmm. later on we're going to light the candles in the um, Armenian chapel we bought it from the Greek Orthodox uh, we're going to bless it in the church and we're going to light it next to the tomb of Jesus sadly Betty I cannot enter uh, the tomb with the video, but I will bless it here. The tomb structure is new, uh, but the site is the exact spot, the exact, exact spot, but it's been uh, site, but it been destroyed so many times. Then. This is the tomb itself. You can see the candlelight. Candlelight is a result of the holy fire. And it's Easter time, but holy fire, Greek Orthodox, which will be next month. Uh, and all the candles in the Greek Orthodox and the Armenian chapel is lit by that. And those candles will be lit by those candles, by the holy fire candle as well. The inner part is the tomb of Jesus himself. And because I know that Betty is a Catholic, I want you to see a very important uh, 
uh, chapel. This is where um, Sunday Mary Magdalene was standing here, Jesus was standing there, and uh, she thought that he is the gardener. She said, Oh, where is my. Uh, uh, did you see who took my, the body of, um, of my Lord? And he said, I am. Go and tell the disciples that I resurrected. Betty, he told it to the women. And you can see the evidence from uh, Palm Sunday procession right here. Let me try to enter the chapel. Uh, I won't be able to talk, but I will try to bless it. The energy of, of the Franciscans there was so strong. Wait, Betty, before I'm going to light it, let me take you to a place that I know that you love. No, no, it's, I'm not going all the way down to there to see where they found the cross. It's a short video, but I'm going to the icon of Jesus in his prison inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre because you love that icon. But that is where Jesus was sat in prison just before they crucified him you can see his legs right there he was tied with ropes into the columns and he was waiting for his crucifixion let me see if i can open it no this time i cannot but this is the icon that we love and now I'm going to light the candles for you. Remember, one of the candles is for everyone who are watching that video. And I'm going to climb up to the roof of the church through two Ethiopian churches to show you where, where um, James is living. I want you to see how beautiful is his bedroom. He knows that he is not one of the disciples, but he wants to live like Jesus' time, and he is doing it, as you can uh, see. Everyone accepts him as, I must say, holy, holy person. Uh, he is so kind. He is so kind. I'm in love with him. I'm in love with him. Then let me light the candles, and we're going to climb up to the roof. First candle I will light from the Holy Fire. This is for Maria Luisa and now for JD Glover. Oops. One candle is for Betty and EJ themselves. And one candle is for everyone who are watching it. May happy Easter, my friends. Happy Easter. I hope that next Easter you will be able to visit uh, us. And don't forget, don't forget that I can guide you. I love my job. I think I'm the luckiest person ever. I really love what I'm doing. I can do that every day. Then let's climb up to the roof of the church to shoot through two Ethiopian churches. The Ethiopians 
believe that they are a creation of um, of a meeting between Queen Shiva and King Solomon at the second part of the church. There are two floors. The second floor, you will see another church and a painting of uh, the meeting between uh, those two. Then let me take you there. Well, this is the roof of the church belongs to the Ethiopians, but we are leaving it and heading, I don't know, I feel like, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean it, but I feel that something happened here. It looks like that floor is sinking, is it? So I must check it. We are leaving Ethiopia, entering to Egypt. And, all right. This is his bedroom. This is his bedroom. This is the bedroom of, of um, uh, James. He lives here at the ninth station of the cross. Every night. Snow, rain, heat. This is this is the bedroom of of um, of James. Is he a saint for you? I think so. Then thank you for being with me in that beautiful, 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 beautiful show tour of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre next to Easter time. Thank you very much for being with me. Bye-bye.